Hey everybody, um, happy Cinco de Mayo, right? Are you celebrating today? It's not Taco Tuesday, but it's Cinco de Mayo, so I thought it would be really fun to make some guacamole, and I actually had a free burrito at Moe's. Fun fact, if you sign up for their rewards, you get a free burrito for your birthday, so my birthday's on Friday, so I got a free burrito and I got chips and salsa. Kind of awesome, right? So I figured the perfect pair with that would be some guacamole. So I've got my avocado here and I'm gonna use our brand new avocado knife, okay? I am seriously loving this guy. It has this flat edge for scooping out the avocado stuff inside, but it also has this serrated edge for getting through the um, skin. And then on the opposite side, it has, this is like you're gonna huck it at there and get the pit out. Um, so the pitter would probably be the correct word and it's really comfortable to hold so I'm just gonna take my avocado and I'm going to just cut it with the serrated knife and I can tell this is gonna be a great avocado it's like perfectly green so got that gorgeous look at that pretty little avocado right so next I'm gonna take the pitter and I'm just gonna huck it out there and it comes straight out now, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the flat side and you can do whatever you want. So you can actually use it kind of as like a spoon. And I mean, I am just mashing it up so it doesn't matter if they're diced or whatever. But so I just use the one side um, to get all that avocado flesh out of there. Or you can take it and you can run it down and make little dices for um, a salad or something. But like I said, I'm making guac, so it doesn't really matter for me what they look like. Um, but I did get some nice dices out of there, little diced pieces of avocado. So I've got that. Now, next, I forgot to grab, let's see if I have a little, I have our guacamole seasoning. So this is like specifically for guacamole when, um, you know, so I'm not adding anything else. I'm just doing avocado in this. Um, this is kind of like easy, lazy girl stuff. So this is, it smells like guacamole. It has um, salt, onion, onion powder, spices, garlic powder, canola oil, lime juice, whatever. So this is kind of like the, you know, you don't have to worry or think about what's in your guacamole, right? So you're gonna have, um, you know, sometimes you make guacamole and you're like, eh, too much lime or not enough whatever. This does all the thinking for you. Now, I'm not gonna say that I only use this, and this is supposed to be, I think, one tablespoon per, so one tablespoon per avocado, um, but I'm just gonna kinda add however, because I only found the one fourth of a teaspoon. I should have looked before but I didn't. So one tablespoon per avocado, which is nice if you read directions. So if you do it before you go live and you figure out what you're doing. So you could just add that and it's really gonna taste really, really, really flavorful. And then you're not sitting there thinking, should I have added more onion or whatever? And it's also easy. So sometimes you're gonna be like, I'm gonna get the chopped onion out and I'm gonna get the chopped um, tomato out and I'm gonna do the jalapeno and all the lime and all that stuff. Um, but sometimes, you know, like today, I just want to eat my burrito, you know, and it's just me. So I just want to eat my burrito and I don't want to have to mess with all that. So it's nice that I can do this. So I just mixed it together. I'm going to grab a chip and let's dig in, you guys. I'll let you know. Perfection. So good. Okay, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Bye.